So, Stuart, would you like to tell everybody what you're cooking this morning? It's a La Ruban. I talked to the folks at Rouse's about a month ago, and mm -hmm. what they wanted me to do was come up with a recipe that was traditionally for St. Patrick's Day, okay. but had a Gulf Coast spin, and you can find it in the latest issue of My Rouse's Every Day that's in their grocery stores. Now, Stuart, we, we've talked about my, my southern accent before. You know it's very uh, heavy. <laughs> and, and authentic. Yes, and then you put something like this that I, I'm supposed to say that I'm sure I would sound so country saying. Call it a Cajun Reuben. Cajun Reuben, that's where it goes. <laughs> so what, uh, we have a big piece of meat here, so let's talk about that. All right, the first thing you, you want to do to make this is you want to boil your corned beef brisket, and you can get these at pretty much any grocery store in the meat section. I have made one in a crock pot. That's where I make my That is actually a, a, uh, a good way to do it, but you know, this isn't really hard. Now, you know that it usually comes with that little spice packet about the size of a tea bag. Well, mm -hmm. that just doesn't cut it on the Gulf Coast. When we do spice, we do spice. That's right. This is Cajun crawfish and shrimp bowl spice. Where can you get that? At any grocery store, especially oh, Rouse's. Oh, okay. They've got a whole big display set up this time of year. So I'm going to drop that in there. And then, you know, a couple hours, we'll come back and that'll be done. A couple hours in television time, meaning a couple minutes. Um, with this pot, you would have to cook the corned beef for how long? Because I've told you, I cooked it in the crock pot and it was, it cooked all day long. So how long would you have to cook it in this? Uh, the general rule is about 30 minutes per pound. So that one's three or four pounds. You do the math. What is that? Two and a half, three hours maybe yes, at the most? Right. It's too early to do math. <laughs> the great thing about when you boil the corned beef like this is it, it's easy to undercook it, but it's almost impossible to overcook it. So if you're oh, a little, little off, leave it in there an extra half an hour. It's just going to be more tender. And of course, a big day coming up for you guys. Yes, yeah, St. Patrick's Day is also Lucky Fest 2015. That's our annual <laughs> shindig that uh, we kind of inherited it from Patio Tools, who had been doing it since the 1970s mm -hmm. with the big tent in the parking lot, live bands all day long. So we wanted to continue that tradition. And uh, this will be our second year doing it. Last year was an absolute blast, but this year we're kicking it up a notch. We're giving away a car. What? What uh, kind of car? A matchbox car about that big. No. Oh, <laughs> no, I actually, say. we're giving, uh, we're going to try and give away a 2014 Dodge Challenger RT. Now, you know what? That would have come in handy last weekend when I was out there with the race cars. They wouldn't let me drive their race car. I could have driven that car and raced with them. You could have. You might have won. You might Stewart, have lost. I mean, that's a high performance. That. High performance. They hadn't let me drive it. <laughs> All right. We're going to find out plenty more about the big events coming up at the Lucky Irish Pub. Of course, we're going to get this corned beef. What's it called? La Ruben. That's going to get going in just a few minutes. I want to start with this because in the last segment you said you're going to try to give away the car and it's not that you can't give it away, it's that you need someone to do something spectacular. Tell us what this is all about. It, it's not spectacular, it's run of the mill, it's every day. You just have to make a 63 foot free throw. 63 foot? Which is roughly throw. a three quarter shot. Three quarter shot. Yeah. I, I got that. <laughs> How many attempts do you just get one attempt? One. I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep working on my form here. Get ready. You to mean go. your form? No, actually, you know, for that it would be. A, it'd be. It'd be a running, <laughs> running one foot one. That, that's. Are you be. multitasking and try and get your, uh, your uh, workout in during the show? Yes, actually, just, just, just keep, keep keep talking. I'm working out during the show this morning. Uh, hey, we got to get back to La Ruben sandwich that you're working on. Tell us what we need to do now in the process. All right, what we're gonna do, you know, like I said, this is a Gulf Coast version of the Ruben, so we're gonna to do a uh, remoulade sauce. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to clear up is that the sandwich, the Reuben, is from Omaha, Nebraska. Mm. Uh, the little diner there where a guy came in every day and said, I want corned beef, sauerkraut, Russian dressing, Swiss cheese on rye bread. His name was Reuben. Oh, okay. okay. Fast forward about a decade, it makes it to New York. The Russian dressing, which is similar to Thousand Island, but it's loaded with horseradish and vinegar and mustard, is left off and just pure mustard's putting on there. Thousand Island didn't start hitting Rubens until the 80s when Fern Bars started doing it. So it's not really a Reuben with Thousand Island. The history of the Reuben sandwich here on Studio 10. Right. And now we're going to work on the sauce. Yeah, this remoulade is pretty basic. This is just good old mayonnaise because mm -hmm. we are in the South. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add a little Creole mustard to it. Now, while you're doing that, tell the folks if you come on out for Lucky Fest on St. Patrick's Day at Lucky Irish Pub, what can the folks expect? 
Five outside, of me, outside of me dropping 63 foot free throws. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to have five bands out in the tent going. Uh, Perry Wall's one of them. There's some friends of mine. Great band. A bunch of bands going to be out there. We're going to give away various door prizes, and that would be when the magical basketball hits the hoop, <laughs> when Joe gets a hold of it, or between four and five. Mm -hmm. We're going to have food indoors and out. We're going to start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Ooh, party gets going early. Yeah, and uh, probably have the bar rolling until about 2 a.m. The kitchen will be going until at least midnight. If it slows down, we'll let the guys go home. If people are still hungry, we'll keep feeding them as long as we have food. I mean, there's only so much we can cram in our kitchen, so when we run out of food around 10, you should have got there 12 hours earlier. <laughs> so uh, if you can come on out all day and celebrate all day, great. If not, maybe you can just swing by for lunch or something. Absolutely. Lunch was our biggest shift last year food-wise. All right, sounds good. So what did we add to there while we were talking? I added a little bit of crushed garlic mm -hmm. and some blackening seasoning. All right, sounds good. We got to stir it up, and it's pretty much ready to go at that point. Yep, yep. In the next segment, I'll just put the sandwich together and show you everything because we've got our corned beef boiling away. Sounds good. Finishing up our Reuben here in the kitchen with Stuart Reb Donald. Now we are talking about a big event coming up at the Lucky Irish. Yep, 2015 Lucky Fest coming up, and our headline band goes on at 6:30, and that is a Super Funk Fantasy. Ooh. I also want to say the La Ruben is only for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, good to know, because yeah, we, we can't have people going there for lunch thinking they're going to get this. <laughs> right. We've got our regular Beer Braze Reuben that everyone loves us for. Okay. We have that, but this is just something special for St. Patrick's Day. What's your burger special today? We are running lamb sliders this oh. week with a little spicy tzatziki sauce on it, goat cheese, some roasted red bell pepper. That sounds good, too. It's really good. Okay, so this is just for St. Patrick's Day, and we're about to make it, the finished product. We're going to make it happen. Make it happen. This is the remoulade that I made with Joe just in the last segment. Okay. Did he do a good job with that? Yeah, he stood and watched really well. I'm sure. That's, you know, Joe's really good at that. Well, so. that's his skill set. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to take our corned beef with some Swiss cheese melted on top. We're going to add that to our marble rye bread. Okay. And just a little bit of corned beef or a lot of corned beef or kraut. Uh, let's do a, little, a medium <laughs> amount okay, a of medium. kraut right, right there in the medium. All right. Okay, so That's see. a big old sandwich. How do you eat that? I don't. You do. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Joe does. <laughs> I, that is, that looks really good. So how long are you going to be open on St. Patrick's Day serving this? We're going to start serving uh, at 10 a.m. on St. Oh, Patrick's wow. Day. That's an hour earlier than normal. And then, like I said, until we run out of food. Yeah. Are you going to <laughs> pinch people if they don't have on green? I'm not. I'm going to be cooking and cooking and cooking, but we have our 12 lovely lady leprechauns who might pinch you. Now, let me tell you, that pre presents a problem for me because our green wall, what I would be weather, is green, so I can't wear green because I'll be invisible on the green wall, but that's unacceptable. That's not an excuse, is it? No, actually, I think I have a cure for you. Oh, no. I don't know. I have no idea what he's getting. Pearls. Just wear these. Yeah, throw those on when you get done. That's right. We're solving, prob solving my problems <laughs> one problem at a time this morning. Stuart, this looks wonderful. We're going to let Joe try that. He's already claimed it, so I can't, okay. I can't eat that this morning. But, again, this is the special for St. Patrick's Day. Of course, you can see Stuart Rebdonald any day at any the Lucky day. Irish Pub. We'll be right back.